Today we're diving into a question that comes up a lot. Should you choose a digital or analog multimeter? Both types of meters measure the same things, voltage, current, and resistance, but how they do it and what they offer can be very different. So, let's break it down to help you decide which one's right for you. First, let's talk about digital multimeters. If you've ever used one, you know they show measurements on a clear digital display. This is where they shine. Digital meters give you precise, easy to read numbers. You don't have to worry about interpreting a needle's position. Everything is spelled out for you in a digital format. This makes digital multimeters great for accuracy. If you need to measure small voltages, resistances, or currents, the precision you get from a digital display is hard to beat. Another huge plus for digital meters is their auto-ranging feature. This means you don't have to manually adjust the meter to match the range of what you're measuring. The meter will do it for you. That's a huge time saver, especially if you're working with a lot of different circuits and measurements. For beginners or anyone who wants to avoid making a mistake, auto-ranging is a real game changer. Now, let's talk about analog multimeters. These work a little differently. Instead of a digital readout, you get a needle that moves across a scale to show you the measurement. At first glance, that might seem like a step back, but analog meters have a big advantage. Real-time feedback. The needle moves continuously, which makes it easier to see fluctuations in a signal. If you're working with audio electronics or any situation where you need to monitor changing voltages or currents, an analog multimeter can give you better intuition. It shows you smooth transitions instead of just jumping to a fixed reading. In terms of accuracy, digital multimeters generally take the win. They give you precise readings down to the decimal, which is great if you're working with sensitive equipment. Analog meters, on the other hand, can be a little harder to read accurately, especially with very small changes or fluctuating signals. But some people still prefer the old-school feel of a needle, and that's perfectly fine for specific tasks. Now, let's talk about durability. If you need something that can take a beating, analog multimeters are the way to go. They're a lot more rugged because they don't rely on delicate electronic parts. You can drop them or bump them around, and they'll keep working. Digital multimeters, while still durable, are a bit more sensitive and could break if dropped too many times. So, which one should you choose? If you want precision, versatility, and a user-friendly interface, then a digital multimeter is the better option. It's great for most general work, and it's easy to get accurate readings quickly. But if you're working in a rough environment or need to monitor fluctuating signals like audio or power systems, an analog multimeter might be better for you.